Hey guys, welcome back. So this video, we're gonna be talking about the switch statement. Now, this is totally random, but the other day I was talking to my friend about how luxury cars have heated seats, and I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool if you could get luxury laptops with heated keys? Because I always get like cold fingers and then my typing gets terrible. That's just my excuse for not being able to type a sentence without a mistake. But anyways, the switch statement is very similar to the if statement, as I've mentioned, and basically we are going to ask in this little app scenario, we're going to ask the user, this is a diet app, by the way, so we're gonna ask the user how many slices of pizza they've eaten. And we're going to rate their diet and um, tell them if they're doing a good job or not. <laughs> yeah, totally useless, I know, but kinda cool. And this is like the basics, you know, once we get this foundation, you can generalize this to actually building a, uh, a good diet app. So these are just the basics. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with just hard coding the, the number of slices that the person ate, and then eventually we're gonna get that from input. But I just wanna focus on the switch statement for right now, so I don't wanna get distracted. So the way you write a switch is you say switch, and then you put the parentheses, and then you put the variable you're, you're doing the conditioning on. And then everything goes inside of these curly braces. So what you wanna do is you have different cases so case one, you do something. Case two, you do something. See, it's some cold fingers, I can't, I can't type, gosh. And then case three, oh man, my hands are freezing. And lastly, we're gonna have a, uh, a case four. And when you have all these cases, this works, but there's something you always gotta remember. Once you finish your cases, you need to put a default. I mean, actually I don't think it's required, but if you wanna do like a, a catch all, then you would want the default. Okay, now before you start coding, there's one other thing you need to do, and that is you need to put a break statement after each one of these cases. The break statements prevent fall through, and we'll see that in just a moment. And even on the default, I like to put a break. Okay, so inside of here is where we can actually do code. So all your code needs to go after the case label and before the break statement. And here you can compliment your users for doing a very good job for only eating one slice of pizza. But clearly you can see that they actually ate three, so that one's not gonna be the case. And then I'm just gonna do a couple of different versions. Two next time. And then case four, well, you know, I'm not even gonna say much for that. Oh shoot, okay, print F, you're a disappointment. <laughs> okay, and then the default is, you know, if, if the slices is greater than four, I guess technically if, if the slices was zero, the default would be hit, but in my brain, this switch is only ever going to get hit if the person says that they ate pizza, which assumes that slices is going to be at least greater than zero. So let's um, go into this default and make a print F saying that you really need to eat less pizza. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I want to run this. and see what happens. You did a bad job, try to eat two next time. Okay, so that is because we hit case three. And you can see that this case number correlates to the value of slices. If we put slices to one, which who would wanna go down in their pizza consumption? That's ridiculous. Now it says you did a great job. And lastly, let's go to the default case, which is you know when you're really hungry. Enjoy your heart disease. And you could go add new lines if you felt like it, but I always have to end up adding new lines because I forget and it takes a bunch of time and it doesn't really serve much benefit just for the sake of learning how to use a switch statement. <laughs> okay, now let's try getting rid of these break statements and see what happens. And 
and let's uh and also we're going to change slices to one You did a great job. You did an okay job. You did a bad job. <laughs> See, uh, the, the program can't make up its mind on what to do because what happens is it goes into case one, executes this, and then it falls through and ends up executing all of these lines. And I think that's all that I wanted to cover. Um, I did want to get this from user input though, so I'm just going to do that. If you've seen this before, then you can go ahead and move on to the next video if you want, but just for fun, I'd suggest you uh, do it as well and for some practice. So we're going to have int slices, int slices scan f, so yeah we've done that about a million times, and we need to tell the user what to do. And then eventually I think I'd like to make a calculator that kind of calculates some of the calories. So I'm gonna do calories per slice and set that equal to 250, which maybe that's something the, the user could configure or maybe depending on the type of pizza that could be changed. And then um, maybe down here we can just print out, you had X calories. And by X, I mean we're going to pass in the uh, calories per slice multiplied by the slices. And then do a new line. Whoops, okay, and then A dot out. How many slices you eat? Let's go with three. You did a bad job. Try to eat two next time. You had 750 calories. So that is how you create a switch statement. Now, a while ago, we created a an if statement for, um, what was it? Let me see, this coding challenge maybe? Oh, nope, nope, maybe it was the, uh, yeah, the else if. And here we did something very similar where we created this menu and this, I said that it would be very easy to convert this to a switch statement. So my coding challenge for you is to go back and watch my hands-on video on else if, make sure you got this menu written out with if statements, and go through the, the practice of converting this to a switch statement, trying all of the possibilities of input, and making sure that things work out right.